Dragon spacecraft continuing to descend. It's now subsonic, so already starting to slow down thanks to the aero braking, basically slamming into that Earth's atmosphere, causes a lot of friction and allows the vehicle to eventually reach its terminal velocity, basically. Uh, and then those parachutes are going to kick in. So there you have visual confirmation of the deployment of our drilled parachutes. This is the first of two parachute deployments. And so those drilled chutes do the initial slowing and then they're ultimately going to pull out the four main parachutes responsible for really slowing the spacecraft down prior to that splashdown. You can hear cheering here at SpaceX headquarters as the employees that have gathered around our mission control center are sharing the same view as you. Uh, what a gorgeous shot of Dragon coming back down. to the Atlantic Ocean. Really can't ask for a more picture perfect <laughs> shot than that. And yes, all, all four shoots now deployed. It's gonna continue to descend. It's gonna continue to slow down and then ultimately splash down in the Atlantic there. We're now under a kilometer in altitude. Just about 750 meters to go. In case if you're just joining us, you can see on your screen there, Dragon re-entering, has just re-entered the Earth's atmosphere after departing from the International Space Station. We have a gorgeous shot of four healthy parachutes um, deployed and slowing the vehicle down as it is approaching the surface of the Atlantic Ocean uh, off the coast of Florida. And it's continuing to descend under those chutes. We just passed 500 meters. Everything continuing to look good via reports to all the flight control teams. Now we're at about 400 meters. And just passing 300 meters, continuing to descend. We might be right on time. We were planning on splashing down at about 5.45 a.m. Pacific, and we're getting real close to that bingo time. Just past 200 meters. And we have confirmation that Dragon is now under 100 meters, uh, is 100 meters above the, the surface of the ocean. So next up, spin, standing by for splashdown. Splashdown came right on time, 5.45 a.m. Pacific, 8.45 a.m. over on the East Coast. The teams that have been ready and waiting, they were staged just a few nautical miles away. They're going to start moving in now. You can see those two fast approach boats already speeding their way towards the capsule.
While there's still a little bit more work to be done at this point, like we said, uh, the recovery team has to safe the vehicle and then uh, lift it onto the recovery vessel. Uh, however, obviously by the excited cheers uh, here at Mission Control, the splashdown is an enormous event for us uh, in terms of the safe re-entry, um, or excuse me, the safe return to Earth from the International Space Station.